day everyone, Gunner Tour here once again, this time with a uh, Rome 2 tournament battle, and uh, I signed up for SH Clan tournament, which was uh, the old days tournament, and the rules are max 6 of the same, max 8 melee, and um, max 14 infantry, and also it's use it, lose it rules, so if you um, use a faction, you lose it for the rest of the tournament. Um, I'll be putting a link to the brackets in the description, so if you want to check that out, be able to see who's in the tournament and what placings they are. So this is round one, game one, and uh, I chose Lusitani and uh, my opponent, Moore from the SH clan, who's uh, chosen Rome here. So I gave him my build first, while we uh, keep it ticking. So I've got um, some Scutari Cav, four of them. Then I've got a uh, Iberian Slingers, three of them. And one Balearic, so one Balearic just to uh, hit the um, good targets like the uh, Cav or something and rip them down quite quick. On my flank I've got the two Lusitani Grillers, all with, with an upgrade there, so one on either flank there. And I've got the uh, six Veteran Shields. Then I've got the um, two Lusitani Nobles there in the middle, one my General. And my Gen skill is uh, Razor Banner and Rally. And uh, four more. He has uh, a shitload of vigilies out the front. There's a meat shield. Then he's got the uh, Evocati cohort. Some veteran legionaries mixed in there. So yes, uh, Evocati and veteran legionaries are a good choice here. I do like the Evocati, but um, six of the same, so I had to put a couple of uh, veteran legionaries in there. Which is a good choice. For his cav, he's got the equities. Soccer equities as well. So two of them. And uh, three soccer equities and one equities. Oh, got another one here. So, so that's four soccer equities, sorry. They're a good cav. I rate them pretty high. Then for his general and his gen skill, he's got um, battle rhythm and second win on his legatus. To be able to do some good damage with that. Anyway, we'll get it under underway. So I'm pushing wide with my cav. A bit worried about these meat shields, but um, I should be able to get rid of them pretty quick with the veteran shields and the loose tiny nobles there. Shouldn't be too much trouble. So I'm going to try and get wide with my cav. But I can see his uh, cav's staying in the middle, kind of. So he's going to try and hit the uh, veteran shield warriors and then go for me skirmisher there so I start to bring over Skitari Cav just to block that one of them and one out here so as you can see he starts to shift his whole army to the to his right so I just pull back my left this gives me an opportunity to um, engage with my right while he's shifting now yeah, my left's out of trouble can't be overwhelmed. So I take the initiative and uh, head into the engagement here. So these veteran shields here do have one upgrade. They're the only ones that are upgraded. So they should do some decent work. So he comes in now. I'm going to take out these vigilers and you can see how quick they go. Lost like 40 men in an instant, even before these veteran legionaries come in. So the Veteran Shield Warriors up against the Evercardi. The charge is good, so I get the charge off well. And all along the line, it's engaged on the right here, so I did take the initiative and get straight into it there. So once I've beaten the Vigilies, I quickly change my attack orders to the uh, Veteran Legionaries. Come in for a good charge there on the Evercardi with my Sock Equities. I try to bring these um, Loose Tony Grillers this way. I like to use them on the flanks. If the cav's out there, I'll get them to give my cav a hand. But other than that, I'll try and get them into the back here so they can do some uh, good javelin work there. As you can see now, they're about to shoot their javelins into the rear of the Avocardi, which is going to absolutely devastate it. So now the, my left flank's starting to hit the line. I've come in for a good charge here. Got a good charge on the veteran legionary, so that's going to do some HP damage. His vigil is going into square, which is good. That's going to hold off a fair bit. He does a good job there. They're a lot more powerful in square. So I can see a gap opening up my line about here. 
and I know he's going to pull one of these cav through so I start to move over and sure up my line with my cav there and fair enough it works out good for me so right now I'm thinking I've got to protect my uh, skirmish so I'm trying to bring what I can the cav here I'm going to pull it back protect his Blairic most of all so I've already done this uh, Avocardi out here with the help of the loose honey grillers so I'm going to bring this veteran shield back in to help out with this one Come in for a good charge on his sock equities there. So veteran shield got a little bit hurt against the veteran legendaries. This uh, veteran shield barrier should come in now and relieve him. So he does good job here and gets through the gap. Going to threaten my uh, Balearic slingers, which is what I didn't want. But I do have this uh, loose honey noble free now. So I'm going to do the attack order onto the cav, a little bit late. I do have this cav here, which I should be pulling out really. But there's nothing else there to stop this uh, Avocardi because my troops got a bit hurt there. So same thing over here, loose tiny grillers getting some good rear shots in on the veteran legionaries. Going to get rid of all their ammo, then uh, use them to come in for a rear charge. So these slingers are going to target the cav now. Cav's free, picked the gaps well in my line, but he didn't see this cav coming out the back. 46 Sikatari, we're going to go straight onto his general. So his general's in trouble now, going to be threatened by the cav, which is uh, not good for him. So I just had enough Sikatari to stop him, these soccer equities, and now I'm just going to open up and uh, lay some fire down on them too. So my Iberians got caught. My other slingers got caught. So this tiny Nable's doing some great work here. Right about now, up to 228 kills. Uh, Avocardi's going well. Now the Soccer Equities is about gone, so I uh, target it with both my skirmish. The General's doing some beastly work in the middle there. And he just lost his General now because of that Skatari Cav grabbing hold of it. It looks like I might have the uh, infantry and skirmish advantage and soon to be the cav advantage so quite confident at this stage that I've wrapped up the battle. Is Avocardi still holding on a bit? The general doing some good work there, we'll see how many kills he's got. 85 kills, he's just held out a fair while there against these Avocardi. Over here, the Avocardi have 79 kills. My veteran shield warrior is tanking it out. Loose Tony Grillers with 83 kills, done well. 102 for the other veteran shield there. Skirmish 68, 52. Left unchecked, they done some great damage there. So that's the uh, battle done and dusted. So um, good game to SH Moore. Just thought I'd got some uh, clear charges off with the loose Tony Nobles and uh, the veteran shield warriors, which you never want to happen against Rome. You had the meat shield there, but they just crumbled a bit too quick. And um, maybe you could have backed up a little bit quicker with these, but they crumbled so quick that you didn't have time to. So that's uh, one of my favourite tournament builds, this one, with the uh, Max 6 of the same, Max 8 melee. I like it, but you do need to have the uh, skirmish advantage. So after all, my Balearic's only got six kills. <laughs> the best slinger on the field and gets less kills. These ones here cleaned up nicely. And uh, loose Tony Grillers work their magic with the rear shots there. It uh, never usually comes off that well, but today the uh, loose Tony Grillers got their clean shots off, which was good. Skatari Cav done well. General 103 kills after all, 274 for this loose Tony Noble, VIP, 162 for this uh, Veteran Shield which done excellent, 191 over here, very good job. So that's a uh, high kill rate due to the uh, Vigilis as well. So uh, For him the Evercardi done well, 145, 54, 38, 85, not bad, 132 for this Veteran Shield, he done well. And then uh, his cav, the equities, done the best work out of a lot of them, so mopping up there. General 32 kills, got some good kills there. And uh, the Vigilis, yeah, not doing too many killing. 
a lot of meat shielding. But this build here hasn't got many meat shields at all. It's all powerhouse with the uh, veteran shield warriors. So that is uh, game one over in the tournament. So I've got game two. It's the best out of three. So um, I'll bring the next game uh, soon. But um, like I said, I'll leave a link to the uh, tournament in the description there. So if you want to check it out, go ahead. SH Clan put on some great tournaments. Shout out to Sol Invictus for his uh, great tournaments he, he does for Rome 2 still. It's a pleasure playing in him. And he's uh, always good. The SH Clan members are always good and um, a very good challenge. And I look forward to... Uh, doing some more tournaments with him, so thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the battle, and I'll talk to you soon.